Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. And as you can see, I look kind of red and sweaty. And that's because I just went to the gym and did cardio. So I figure what better thing to celebrate me doing cardio, working out, doing what you're supposed to do and keep your body in shape than by unboxing May's Box of Dread, which actually this showed up yesterday, which was my birthday. So I like to think that Box of Dread timed that because they wanted me to get a, a, a package on my birthday, but that's probably not actually the case, but I'm just gonna keep thinking it is for me. It made me feel special. So thanks, Box of Dread and Dread Central, you you awesome folks. Also, it's uh, important to note while I open this, I'll tell you that um, Box of Dread's been you know, throwing out their feelers for ideas of things that people want to see in the box to maybe change things around a little bit. So uh, they're taking suggestions, but they're also asking for some people to email them and kind of say, hey, you know, I'd be willing to, to give additional feedback. So from what I understand, they're going to pick some people who have emailed them in that manner and um, reach out to them and get some additional feedback. So that's cool. I think it's great because that shows you that this is a company that wants to make sure that their, you know, their fan base is getting, you know, what they want, you know, check the temperature, see how it's doing. And if you need to change anything, that's great. There are companies out there who don't really do that. And that's very unfortunate. You know, I'll just throw it out there because I've, you know, if you've watched enough of these videos, you know, I have problems with them and I left them on bad terms. The nerd, the nerd block company, they're really more of a company who doesn't really focus on customer service. They don't really care that much. I think part of it is because they're a much larger company, so they don't feel like they have time for that. You know, uh, Box of Dread slash, you know, run by Dread Central, you know, they they are a much smaller operation. They actually care. It's run by one guy, so, you know, they actually care more. So there's more of like a personal touch. That's one of the things I really like about this. You know, I'm supporting something a lot smaller, and, you know, it's more personal, and their customer service has been great, so. That said, let's get into the May Box of Dread. Excited to see what's up in this. Okay, so some paper, as I assume there would be. My cat can play with. She's always a fan of that. Ooh, I feel like there's a mystery mini. Ooh, maybe two mystery minis in here. Mm, I like that. There's some more paper. I love mystery minis, by the way. Oh, Garbage Pail Kid mystery mini. Oh, that's sweet. You know, I've kind of, um, I've kind of wanted these, but I kind of didn't, I didn't want to buy them, because I was kind of like, well, you know, there's some cool stuff in there, but I don't want to spend the money on it just in case I get something stupid. So I'm actually really happy that this is in here because I wanted it and I didn't really want to pull the trigger myself. Oh my God! And there's a horror classics mystery mini in here too, although this one feels kind of heavy. So I think it's uh, Bruce the Shark from. Um, Jaws, so hopefully I'm wrong on that, but oh, that's awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. I love getting mystery minis, man. If it was mystery minis every time, I'd be like super happy just because it's so much fun. Um, official sequel mm -mm -mm. this is a you can pre order Evil Dead board game. Um, you can get it for free, huh? That's interesting. It says get it free right now. And then it gives you the link to go to add Evil Dead 2 Beyond Dead by Dawn collection to your cart. Go to checkout and use a certain coupon code that's only for this box. Fill out your information and hit place order. Enjoy your digital download of, oh, collected editions, okay. Actually looks like the official sequel before that other sequel. I mean, it looks like it's actually a, like a comic kind of? Even though this is like a promo for this game, but I'll show you without giving you the code. You can see that because I I'm gonna use the code, and on the other side is the promo for it. This game's look kind of interesting to me. Um, I'm sorry if the lighting's not the best. I'm gonna have lighting issues, so sorry. It's kind of dark out, and I usually depend a little bit on natural light for this kind of stuff. So my apologies. Oh, uh, looks like we got a poster which a lot of these posters I usually won't put up they have to be like super cool oh, oh. is this oh my gosh evil dead 2 necronomicon stuff going on in here that's cool if you can see that 
Um, it's like a page taken out of the Necronomicon from Evil Dead. Or Ash vs. Evil Dead, or mainly in this case, Evil Dead 2. That is cool. I actually really like that. That is a... That's a nice poster. I actually might find a way to put this up. Um, but once again, you know, I know I've said it before. I don't really like when you have um, things like this where they're rolled this way so the actual picture is like on the inside. I like it to be on the outside because that way it's easier if you just want to put it straight on the wall. Um, you don't have to like put it under stuff to try and flatten it out because it's, it's hard to do, honestly. But, but this is cool. I like that. It's very nice. It's very well done. All right, there's another item. Oh my god. Is this an Evil Dead 2 comic? Oh, I think I did know about that. Okay, got it, got it. Oh, that's what that digital download must be for. It must be the digital version of this. And they bagged and boarded it, which is nice. It's not like a super like sturdy board, but they bagged and boarded it. That's cool. Oh, man. Look at this. Evil Dead 2 comic, and I've just gotten into comics recently so that's awesome look at that um i'll show you guys a few pages in there if you want to see i don't know if you can see it all that well but don't want to go all the way to the back just in case i don't know it doesn't have anything just in case there are any spoilers or anything but that's sweet evil dead 2 comic nice that's so perfect for me right now like it i like it and then there's like a little promo thing, The Howling, Revenge of the Werewolf preview. Oh, it's literally like a little preview for The Howling comic book that they're going to be making. Now, I love The Howling. The Howling is by far my favorite werewolf film, so I will probably be looking into this comic. Once again, sorry if the lighting's kind of crappy, but you can kind of see. It looks a lot like the cover for the, for the film. Um, that's cool. And literally, it's like a little preview comic. It's got like actual stuff from the comic in there. That's awesome. That's awesome. This this is a decent amount of stuff because, like I said, and I always say it, it's twenty dollars total. It's like fourteen for the actual box and six for shipping. It's twenty bucks total. So for two mystery minis, this poster, comic book, and a digital version of the comic book with this little extra of you know this preview for the Howling. I'm totally down. I'm sold. I like it. Uh, what should you do first? I think I'm going to do the horror mystery mini first because I think I know that it's going to be Bruce the shark from Jaws. Which, you know, I already have two of those because I've been collecting these because I love it. But maybe I'll get lucky and maybe it's actually the twins from The Shining, which are kind of rare. So I'm not holding my breath. I'm going to assume it's Bruce. I'll actually pull it out and feel it to see if I can get a better sense. Oh yeah, it's Bruce. It's totally Bruce. But that's fine. Um, I take all my extras home, or I can just give them away to friends. Uh, but yeah, Bruce the Shark. I mean, honestly, it's a pretty good one to have extras of because, I mean, it's a shark. Like, you can build a legion of these sharks, and it's fine. Alright. But that's cool. I love this. If they kept putting these in... Every time, I'd be so psyched. Let's do the Garbage Pail Kids one. Oh, let me go ahead and actually, before I go any further, I should, if people aren't familiar with these, I should show you the back so you can see what, what we could have gotten. Some awesome stuff on there, including, um, what have I not, what did I not have? I don't have the Freddy. I don't have um, the Linda Blair character, Re Regan. I don't have her. I don't have Patrick from... Um, American Psycho. I don't have the dude from uh, Alec Baldwin's character from Beetlejuice. I don't have the twins from The Shining. But I have all the rest of them. Including that Jack Torrance. That Jack Torrance from The Shining is awesome. So before I open the Garbage Pail Kids one, let me show you what you can get. You can get all sorts of fun stuff. And then just go, feel free to pause it. I'm not going to read through all of them, but feel free to pause it and see what you think is all would be awesome to get uh i really want eerie eric the most he was the little um werewolf one that's my uh that's the one i have the most interest in but they're all pretty cool to some degree Let's check this these things are kind of big 
and their heads are huge. I think this might be Brainy Jamie, is what I think, because I feel glasses. Oh my god. Oh, there's like a an extra piece. Fell out the bottom, actually. What? Where did this extra piece go? There was an extra something in here. Oh, there it is. What is this? Oh, it's a vial. Okay. Oh yeah, this is, is this made by Kid Robot? No, it's a Funko product. Because I know that the Kid Robot things, they actually put a lot of, um, like, things that you can put in the hand. So this is the first time I've gotten a Funko product where you can put something in the hand. But there's Brainy Janie. Obviously, she's very brainy. These things are fun. Especially if you remember Garbage Pail Kids like I do, you know. And then there's just, like, a little vial. You know, like a test tube of stuff. So you can... Articulation. It's a little stiff, but not bad. So I can just shove that in her hand. She holds it well. You move their heads too. The head movement's pretty good actually. And see, she can stand with it, holding it. There you go. All right, that's cool. It's not my favorite one to get. Actually, it's probably one of the ones I least wanted, but you know, what are you gonna do? It's it's random. But I love the chance. I love, oh God, I love, I love mystery bags. I just like, and it's just a lot of fun to try and guess what you're going to get and everything. So anyway, good box. I really like this uh, box of Dread. And like I said, it's only 20 bucks. So, you know, it's not, it's not that much. You know, it's one of the lower cost boxes out there. And especially if you're a horror fan, there's really not a ton of horror boxes out there. So I feel like bang for its buck, this is a really good horror box. So thumbs up on that. Um, they're still doing it. They're still doing well. Uh, but like I said, they're, they're still, you know, getting feedback. They want to know what people want. So go ahead and reach out to them. Let them know. Uh, and if you have interest, you can sign up. I th I'm pretty sure in the description I'll have the link um, for the website. So you can just go and sign up. So highly recommend it. Uh, thank you, everyone, for checking out this video. Thank you, um, Dread Central and Box of Dread, for being as cool as you are. And I'm going to go read this comic because nothing says follow up to cardio like reading some Evil Dead 2. Thanks, anyone, everyone. Keep it brutal.